Just like, come on, squeal for me. Do it like you think it's gonna save your life louder. Yes, now that is what I like to hear. Of course, under no circumstances am I gonna let you live because then I wouldn't be in control anymore. Now would I? So let me guess, the wheels are starting to turn and you're panicking. Do you have unfinished business? Do you wish you had just one more day to tell your friends and family how much you love them? How about regrets? You have any of those? So I started to cry out of frustration. And while I was silently sobbing, this person still can sense I want to get by in the reach of the goddamn tuna fish can. And so people are just so insensitive. I hate them. So I brought my fist down really hard on his head and yelled, would you kindly move, asshole? And you don't have a clue. Look, I don't even know why we're even discussing this. I'll just call him myself. He doesn't have a phone. Well, I'll call him when he does. But he won't. What are you talking about? He's not getting a phone. He doesn't like talking on the phone. So then just give me the Zen Master's address. I don't think we're reason to stop by it. Let me talk to him first. Why? Just give me the address. You won't have to be involved. I don't feel right just giving you the address so you can go over there and... And what? Do whatever it is you do. <laughs> do something? That goddamn diamond stud earring that cost me a fucking fortune. Which shirt is that? Well, this shirt. <laughs> yes, that shirt. This is my boyfriend's shirt. <gasps> Your boyfriend? Then who's your boyfriend? Albert? No. Who then? Kim Sherry. Oh! Excuse me? Kim Sherry? Um, excuse me very much, Dindy, but I don't think that Kim Sherry's your boyfriend. Well, we had sex this morning. <laughs> to work from home was my best decision ever. No pressure, no politics, and overheads minimal thanks to Staples. They have everything, from computers and copiers to pens and paper, at the lowest prices I've ever seen. And Staples' huge selection means one-stop shopping. No more wasting time. I see so much more of the kids now. Speaking of kids... Hey honey, how's that photocopying coming along? And when you're done with that, I have some faxes that need to be sent. Pronto. <laughs> Staples. For the best buys and office supplies. Did I ever tell you about my father? He had cancer too. It started in the liver and into his bones. Ten months later, he was dead. Thanks for that encouraging story. I wasn't finished. Through those last weeks, every day we thought we were going to lose him. And every day before I would go into his room, my mom would say, no tears. Daddy wants to see you smiling. You're gonna cry. You can't go in. So on that last night, I sat there and I watched him die. His eyes were closed, but I, I thought he could still see me. So I kept smiling. <laughs> 